following program is brought to you by the Department of Information and Public Relations in an effort to keep you fully informed and abreast of government issues, projects, plans, and activities. I want to welcome you to the press conference to mark the occasion of the inaugural visits of the UNESCO Secretary Generals for Jamaica and St. Kitts and Nevis, respectively. And now I'll turn us over to Mrs. Allison Flax Archer, who's the Secretary General for the Virgin Islands National Commission of UNESCO. Acting. Daughter. Pleasant good morning to everyone. I am indeed pleased to be hosting this inaugural visit. To my right, I have a Secretary General from Jamaica, the Jamaican National Commission, Mr. Everton Hannam, as well as to my left, I have the Secretary General from St. Kitts and Nevis National Commission, Mr. Antonio Maynard. Mr. Mr. Antonio Maynard, who is the Secretary General for St. Kitts and Nevis National Commission for UNESCO. Mr. Maynard. The Chairman, and let me say that it is indeed a great pleasure for me to be here in the effort of strengthening the National Commissions um, in the Caribbean sub-region, including, of course, the BVI, who is in fact an associated member of the organization um, UNESCO. This idea is really mentioned in UNESCO's budget and program for 2008-2009, where national commission should really um, cooperate with each other by sharing good practices and and experiences, and that is why we are here. Um, I want to say thanks to Alison for really, you know, um, supporting this effort. And we, we know that Alison is, is a new Secretary General, and we want to welcome her into the family and into the network of um, Secretaries General from not only the Caribbean sub-region, but globally. Uh, UNESCO is a very um, humongous and complex organization, but it has a lot to offer, um, especially small island states like ours. And UNESCO, of course, is the leading agency for education for all. And we know there are many issues as it relates to education in these small islands. For example, we have an obligation to make sure that um, these islands achieve the millennium goal of education for all um, by 2050. And, and within that particular framework, we, we know that teacher training and vocational education is of utmost importance um, to these small islands and to your students here. Um, in the in the BVI. Again, um, I will pause here for your questions after all the comments by my colleague. But I am sincerely honored um, to be here to help share much useful information with your government and your Secretary General and National Commission. Um, on our mission here today. Thank you very much. Now let's welcome the remarks by Mr. Everton Hammond, who is the Secretary General for Jamaica National Commission for UNESCO. Mr. Hammond. Thanks much. Um, first of all, like Mr. Maynard, I'm also pleased to be here in BVI. Fortunately for both of us, this is our first visit to um, your lovely island. Nevertheless, the association with BVI has started with previous Secretary Generals of BVI who have encountered in our meetings. I speak of Mrs. Wheatley, and then I speak of, and I also want to recognize the presence of your Deputy Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education, Mrs. Carly Noni Williams, who we have worked very closely with over the years, and it is part of her endearment that has allowed us to um, touch in down finally on BVI soil. I also want to recognize and place on record the appreciation of 
to the government of the BVI for allowing and facilitating this visit. It is very important that from day one, the commitment of the government is recognized. And I want to just place on record our support for that um, their, um, intention to have this visit. And Mr. Maynard mentioned also, and your new Secretary General, Alice, very dynamic at the outset, and will continue to be, I'm sure, and our enthusiasm towards having this visit um, done here in BVI. Why this visit? I think it is very important for Caribbean countries to play an extremely important role in UNESCO. Yeah? UNESCO, like any other United Nations organization, provides tangible and intangible benefits to member states. And therefore, it is your involvement, it is your proactiveness in these organizations which will allow for the support, both intangible and tangible, to flow. Why are we therefore here? To ensure that countries within our region, because I don't consider we're not a sub-region, because we're not under anything, we are a region. To ensure that countries in our region participate actively in UNESCO. Of course, like in all organizations, there are countries which are strong and there are countries which are not so strong, I said in the same week, which are not so strong. And so we are here to ensure that those countries which are not so strong are assisted in more ways than one so they can participate actively in the work of the UNESCO. This, this um, includes a number of things. Working with the National Commission, Working and collaborating with governments, yeah, we are deputy PS here. Working and collaborating with non-governmental organizations that make up the family of UNESCO. And to ensure that all the players involved really are in on the UNESCO issues. So it is that intention why we, why we are here, to work with all the stakeholders, which I just mentioned. And by so doing, facilitating active participation in UNESCO and in UNESCO activity. So it is on that basis that we are here to ensure all of this activity. The process will not take just the two days we are here, but I'm sure it's a process that will start and we ensure continuity in, in this activity. So thanks very much, and I really appreciate that um, I'm here in BVI. Came in on Friday, Saturday, and sometimes on Sunday. Didn't go to church, but nevertheless, um, yeah. But we are here, and I'm sure the next couple of days, other than the activities that have been so eloquently placed for us by our SG, there are the extracurricular activities that uh, we might be able to find ourselves in. Okay. This time we're going to take questions from the press. I want to remind the members of the press to please identify yourself for the Secretary General, and it's appropriate to address them for us as Secretary General, then surname, and then you can say sir or madam when you have to do that. So, members of the press, your questions, please. Um, good morning. I'm going to again from the BBI Beacon. Mr. Everton Hanman. Um, we've been here for like two days now. And how, if, if you've had any discussions with the UNESCO director here. Okay, how, how do you see the BBI? How do you see BBI's UNESCO? Thank you. I must say, a foundation has been laid by our two previous Secretary General. The present Secretary General is going to continue on that foundation and expand in terms of how we move into UNESCO's activities in a more progressive and in a more dynamic way. Initial discussions that we have had with your Secretary General has indicated her willingness, her enthusiasm to move the process forward at a more faster rate and a more expansive rate. And quite frankly, I'm just like her, enthusiastic, and I'm pleased that we have started the discussion. And from where Mr. Maynard and I sit presently as alternate member of the UNESCO Executive Board, will ensure as best as possible that BVI continues to be involved and involved.